Gus Fring appears in an awkward wine bar scene in Better Call Saul Season 6, Episode 9, but why does the character leave right away? In the Fun and Games episode of Season 6 of Better Call Saul, why does Gus Fring abruptly leave the wine bar? Gustavo Fring, played by Giancarlo Esposito, has finally weathered the storm. After eliminating Lalo Salamanca in the previous episode, Gus's win is solidified when Don Aladio, Juan Bolsa, and Hector Salamanca meet and the big boss declares that Peruvians are to blame for Lalo's death, clearing Fring completely. Gus approaches his favorite wine bar, which he hasn't visited recently, obviously, feeling festive and asks Brett at the counter for a glass of red. Better Call Saul soon reveals the real reason Gus enjoys this particular bar is David, an employee and wine aficionado who Esposito's character clearly holds a candle for. As he listens to David ramble about cowboys, soil and tractors, Gus looks as happy and relaxed as any other time Better Call Saul viewers could possibly recall. Despite clearly enjoying himself, Gus takes a sip of his La Landon and abruptly leaves the establishment without even bidding David farewell. There's no pressing emergency, no sudden danger, no reason whatsoever for Gus to be anywhere else. Remarkable. Mm -hmm. I thought you'd like it. Why doesn't he stay and continue making eyes at David? The René Rosting La Landon wine itself contains the solution. For Gus specifically, David pours. David describes the flavor profile as follows, do you experience that nearly bloody, meaty flavor? The soil is all iron oxide and manganese. David then leaves, Gus takes another sip, and that's when his demeanor becomes uncomfortable. Gus tasted the wine's bloody flavor and was reminded of his bloody line of work. The iron-tinged booze gives Gus a stinging wake-up call that pursuing romance with someone like David is impossible for a million different reasons. Even if a lover accepted Gus Fring's dangerous job, unlikely, and Gus could keep him under wraps, even more unlikely, the chicken man knows all too well that personal connections are a dangerous weakness in his industry. All of these thoughts rush through Gus's mind as he sips that bold glass of red, and he decides to stop torturing himself by flirting with a future he can't have. Better Call Saul's wine bar scene supports a Breaking Bad theory, in Breaking Bad Season 3, Gus Fring invites Walter White for dinner at his home. Children's toys can be spotted in the background, and Gus even complains about kids not enjoying his Chilean food, telling Walt, you know how that is, since Gus's children are never physically seen or mentioned in any other context. It's a Chilean dish that I love. Many Breaking Bad viewers have assumed Gus was merely exploiting Walter White's family man nature by pretending to have a family of his own. Better Call Saul already strengthened that theory by proving Gus definitively does not have children a mere four years before Breaking Bad begins. Walking away from David during Better Call Saul Season 6's wine bar sequence and rejecting the possibility of forging a personal connection all but confirms Gus's children were invented especially for Walter White's benefit. Fun and Games shows Gus realizing relationships are a weakness would-be kingpins cannot afford, and that attitude fits far better with his ruthless and calculating characterization in Better Call Saul and Breaking Bad. While it's possible that Gus and David, or another partner, will get together during the gap between shows and have a few kids, everything in Better Call Saul suggests Gus lied to Walt and remained alone until the very end, 